What's up guys? Um, in this first part of the tutorial, I will go into all of the add-ons that I actually have. Um, as you see, this, this unit frame right here, uh, this is LUI, and there's a lot to LUI. Um, this will pretty much be uh, one of the longest to actually set up, but it's not really that hard. Um, see there's extra side buttons uh, and these buttons are not bartender these buttons are actually part of LUI you can set them up you can uh, customize them to however you want um, and my chat add-on is Pratt my shadowed unit, frame, unit frames are what I use for unit frames see oh yeah and uh, Let's see, what else? Uh, these are actually part of Shadow Unit, or LUI. Uh, okay, so with that being said, let's get into the LUI setup. Alright, now when you actually want to customize this, you go to forward slash LUI and it should bring up a LUI uh, window. Now, uh, when you actually first install the LUI, um, this is how I will show uh, how it will actually look. It actually looks like this. This is how the UI will look. Basically, very small. So you go into Options, and you go into uh, Advanced, and I usually put it up to right where the U is and you hit apply and that should bring up your uh, well maybe that's just a little bit too big but uh, yeah I put it one click before the U uh, in UI and there you go uh, that is actually set up uh, to visually be uh, be able to be seen and uh, now let's get into the now you can go up to here uh, and right click or you can actually type the slash uh, LUI but I usually go up here and now for the unit frames unit frames are usually uh, like come standard I'll show you uh, in a second uh, as a load okay now, you see that uh, this is the uh, unit frames uh, behind the shadowed unit frames. Uh, now, I don't like uh, the unit frames that LUI provides, so I am going to go to unit frames, disable them, keep the um, raid frames disabled uh, for the Blizzard UI. So that actually doesn't bring up the raid frame over here in the left hand corner. So once you got all that uh, set up, you will then go to uh, bars and you can see the, the uh, default bar states, uh, LUI states, and the keybinds. Um, all my keybinds are I only have like uh, one or two keybinds, but if you want to actually move your bars, you can go to see like action bar one. You can move it horizontal. Now the uh, higher the number, it goes to the left. You can move it to the right. You can move it uh, vertical, which is uh, up down yeah so um that's that and uh now you can position them you can actually uh position them like center uh bottom right uh right uh left i actually use the bottom and then I just uh, 
position it how I want um, down the bottom now you can put uh, your bars anywhere you want uh, to make it easier on you which would probably be to your preferred liking uh, would be my best bet on uh, giving you where to position them and you can actually set your how many bars uh, per row you can have like uh, one bar uh, let's see let's put this in the center so you can see all this uh, see you can uh, put uh, buttons per row six buttons per row you can uh, adjust the scale of them uh, like see you can do that I, I put 12 um, and then you can put uh, how many numbers number of buttons and uh, yeah and then uh, see this you can go through action bar 1 to 6 and then you can go to the right bar uh, this is the scale of the right bar and uh, I usually put it around 80 80 to 85 is uh, the average uh, then you can put the right bar too. I don't. I don't have this enabled, but you can enable that and uh, basically scale that one uh, to uh, what you're liking. Or you m may not. It comes standard, not enabled, but you can enable uh, enable that by yourself. Uh, and then you can do the left bar. Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, See, so you can also do a left bar, you can do uh, left bar 2, yeah. uh, but the standard one comes with uh, only the right bar number 1 uh, enabled. Uh, and then you can go to bags, and I will, you don't have to have any bag add-ons. Uh, See, this is the standard bag add-on that comes with uh, LUI itself, and it's uh, fully customizable. Uh, see, you can see how many items per row you want. Uh, you can do the bag spacing, bag size. Like, see that the bag size customizes how big these bars, the bag bars are. Uh, and then you can do that if you don't want the bags shown. Uh, now the bag show bag bar actually uh, is default enabled, so you can actually move these around and freely uh, see and freely actually move the bags around without having any trouble. You can do the uh, bag padding uh, makes it so spaces the bags out from the actual bar you can actually search right click on to search and then let's say I wanted um, tabards see if you type out tabards all the tabards actually come highlighted and everything else just fades out uh, and then you can stack and sort. As you can see, it's basically taking all your items and stacking them uh, down the bottom. I haven't figured out how they stack, but um, they actually stack them for you, and uh, it's very handy. Uh, you can also what else? Uh, cooldowns. I don't mess with anything. The uh, mini map. You can do the size of the minimap. You can uh, do the positions, the x value, y value. Uh, you can also uh, change the fonts that actually are used. The minimap frames. Uh, 
Now the only thing that I've done is uh, done the general, and I you can actually uh, move move it around. Uh, the only thing I've done with the map really is uh, the size, um, nameplates. Uh, I haven't really done anything with those. Uh, the world map. You can actually enable the coordinates. You can uh, do the arrow scale, the coordinate accuracy. Um, you can full size world map. The scale is. You can see. And you can actually move around as you do. Uh, look around. Now, uh, let's see. Anyway. And then the unit frames, as I said, um, they are to your, uh, you want to actually have them disabled if you're going to use uh, other types of unit frames. Um, I use the prototype font, and size is 12. And the font flag is outline. I keep all the basics of these uh, of these. Now, now when you actually see this Blizzard uh, frame scale, the Blizzard frame scale does not do anything. So this is why I wanted. This is why I told you to go into the options and then the advanced, because that does not actually uh, affect or help at all. Okay, um, I believe that is all for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any add-on uh, questions, um, help, or any um, thoughts, uh, just leave a comment below in the uh, in the comment section, and I will answer them as uh, as they come in. Uh, if you would like to uh, see more like this, uh, subscribe, uh, like this, thumbs up, and uh, refer it to your friends. The next video will be of my shadowed unit frames. Thank you, and hope to see you in the future.